start with a dog that doesn't bark, the Basenji. That's right, the Basenji, one of the few breeds in the world that does not bark. Now this little dog may not bark, but the Basenji can bite. This breed is still used today by the pygmies in Central Africa to hunt lions. That makes the Basenji one tough cookie. And where most dogs hunt by sight or sound, the Basenji uses both senses to stalk its prey. They may be barkless, but they are far from silent. Bit of a, a yodel or a whine or a crowing sound. The larynx of the Basenji is a different shape than that of a normal dog. As air is forced through the larynx, instead of getting a barking sound like other dogs, you get a yodel or a baru. Basenjis are also very cat-like. Qualities that come from their independent and aloof personalities. Stack. And like cats, Basenjis are fastidious groomers. A Basenji is more the type of dog who's going to be your calm, quiet, and loyal companion. The Basenji's calm independence may come from its intelligence. These dogs are considered to be and are selected to be super smart, uh, very stealthy. Basenjis are arguably the world's oldest dog, appearing in Egyptian hieroglyphs and art. They were brought up the Nile from Central Africa as gifts for the pharaohs. In the 1980s, Basenjis were almost wiped out in the United States by Fanconi syndrome, a fatal genetic kidney disease. This disease was so prevalent that Basenji breeders traveled to the Congo to bring back more dogs to help diversify the gene pool. The easiest way to identify a Basenji is by their tightly coiled tail. That coils up on their back, so they have a very unique look. Another Basenji characteristic is their distinctive wrinkled forehead. And the Basenji's large erect ears cap off their Egyptian look. Just because these dogs are ancient does not mean they can't learn a new trick. Training Basenjis is not easy. It takes time and dedication to train their aloof personalities. Good boy. When you put in the time and effort to train a Basenji, they make wonderful companions. But like cats, Basenjis will usually only bond with one or two members of a family. Another cat-like quality of the Basenji is that they make great pets for city dwellers. So having a dog who's not as vocal as others is a huge plus. It's important to know the lineage of your Basenji to avoid Fanconi syndrome. However, Basenjis without this genetic disease are healthy dogs. They don't shed very much. So if you're kind of a neat freak, this might be a great dog for you. So the Basenji is a great city-dwelling dog. They have a problem with Fanconi syndrome, so be sure to get your Basenji from a reputable breeder. Basenjis are a snap to groom because they do most of it themselves. Training a Basenji takes time and dedication. However, a well-trained Basenji makes a good companion. 